I've been looking for a hotel like this. Checks all my boxes. Not to mention one of Japan's iconic temples or a hop skip away. Konnichiwa, my name is Cyber Bunny. I am a Japanese American content creator bridging the gap between the East and the West. I want to walk you through the best Instagram worthy hotel that you'll ever find in Tokyo. Asakusa Kaede is a sustainable boutique hotel located in the heart of old Tokyo. Known for its historic buildings, crafts, and traditional shops, Asakusa is one of those places where you can go back in time and feel what it was like to live in the Edo period. People like to keep traditions alive by wearing yukata or kimono. Its grand opening was on December 16, 2021. It's a five minute walk from Asakusa Metro Station. Self check in with a confirmation code. Simple, fast, and no Mendoxai paperwork needed. A staff will hand you your key card. Don't lose it. And a complimentary ticket to Sento Public Bathhouse, which has checked my last box. One of the many attractions of Kaede Lounge by Tokyo Sour Stand is its unique menu. Colorful, fresh fruit sour cocktails, as well as their popular bar menu. I enjoyed the waffles. All right, let me give you a tour. At Asakusa Kaede, there are nine rooms that represent the different seasons in a style that is unique to Japan. And each has been designed around a different theme so that returning guests will be able to enjoy a fresh new experience every time they visit. The Edo Suite is the family suite on the sixth floor. 47 square meters, it holds six guests. The Edo Suite is the largest room in the hotel and also the room with the best view of Tokyo Skytree. But you know what's a better view? Check this out. Deluxe Suite. The four deluxe suites are ideal for up to four guests and are decorated according to four themes. Mashiko. Mashiko ware or mashiko yaki is a type of pottery from the Kanto region. The pottery with its earthy texture and simplicity of form is a perfect match for the spring floor. Aizome. The unique hue of aizome, sometimes known as Japan blue, is at once cool and warm. It's a color perfectly suited to the summer days. Minowashi. Minowashi is one of the three main types of traditional paper made in Japan. And it was used for the certificates awarded to competitors at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. And Hiroshige. Utagawa Hiroshige was one of the most famous artists of his time, and his popularity continues to this day. The three junior suites, designed according to the themes of Karakami, Hokusai, and Nishijin. 24 square meters holds up to four guests. They all have two twin beds, as well as raised tatami area that can accommodate two comfortable futons. In the Karakami room on the fifth floor, bamboo paper, also known as chikushi, was the inspiration for this room. In the Hokusai room on the fourth floor, the overall design of this room combines the indigo that we associate so strongly with Katsushika Hokusai with wallpaper inspired by summer. In the Nishijing room on the third floor, Describes an intricately woven type of fabric with a diverse range of designs and weaving styles. The room features a selection of these colorful textiles that reflect the colors of autumn. The design of the queen suite. Kutani. 
This room can sleep up to three people in a generous queen-size bed and a comfortable futon. Kutani was inspired by Kutani Yaki, Kutani Ware. It is one of Japan's most well-known styles of pottery. Kutaniyaki is world famous for its distinctive use of color. During my stay, I attended an Amezaiku candy workshop. It was super fun, super challenging, and I got to take home my one and only uniquely made bunny candy. Experience a traditional Japanese craft firsthand. Thank you for watching, and if you like to take advantage of my 10% discount, please use the code CYBERBUNNY10 upon booking. Don't forget to check out my blog on things you can do in Asakusa. じゃあまたね! See you next time!